and we are back so we did our giveaway post this morning and now I'm in here trying to figure out what to make and it's horrible when my mind is drifting basically on cutters and everything this weekend my mind has not switched over to patterns so I'm gonna do something simple I am going to use ultramarine and white and purple so I've got all kinds of different setups here so I'm gonna do a cane with three three colors and then I'll just do a blue and a white and I'll do a purple white and blue which basically is the same thing we'll just go backwards on that one and a purple and white I was thinking of adding green and to me it just kind of threw everything off I thought I'd add some yellow and the yellow just seems really out there even though it would look good with that um, it's just too much so I do have a light blue that I could throw in there and I do have like a green leaf that I can somehow slip in there which looks a lot better than just the green I don't know I, I this is why I hate canes is because I can never figure out what color combos to use and being an art major that's really sad um, I just you know I, I basic colors I'm great at um, you know oh we try this okay we have a color wheel here this is actually for Swarovski I don't know where I got this but it's old so let's find one color that we're using here so we got an ultramarine blue which is 206 it looks like pretty close so obviously if we want the harmonious colors we can do a gray or whatever so here's your contrasting color well look at that we do have purple and yellow so I guess we could try and add the yellow in there somewhere I don't know why it just seems really bright so it's not a great color wheel we're gonna try and put that 206 over here and I hate how hard this is to turn I know it's not that difficult but I sure make everything difficult so if I do that with the main pearl color which I'm not worried about pearl then I'm getting some oh, actually some of this apple green would be cool I think the thing I don't want to use the light colors is I want it kind of bold so I guess honestly this would be a bold cane regardless I'm just not sure if I want to use the yellow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Skinner blends out of all of this I may just add the yellow set it aside if we decide to add it we will I mean blue and orange they're contrasting colors um, I could even cut up a little bit of orange it wouldn't look bad with the purple orange isn't really bad with green um, I really got to learn how to mix colors I think and I think that might help me out a little bit but anyways let me go ahead and make um, all these into a Skinner blend and we will be back alrighty so we are back and we put everything in the Skinner blends I'm not sure what I'm gonna use yet I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for some kind of weird pattern I don't want to put just circles in there so I am going to put all these up like this I had some black and white bullseye cane I thought I'd use that for a little bit of contrast so now instead of just doing round how about we kind of make some shapes out of all of these so we're gonna squish this side like this and squish this side like this and we're kind of kind of bend it around here let me grab oh a paintbrush will be fine I guess let's see so many things that you can do with this that what I'm doing is nothing nothing special I'm just kind of manipulating the canes just a little bit I 
and I'm going to take that center like that and I'm just going to stretch it. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing because the ends get so floppy and distorted, but the inside should all be what I want it to be. And I might be able to get two pieces out of this, so that'll be cool. So we're just going to kind of round this out. I'd like to get something a little thicker than this, but I honestly don't know if I have anything. Well, let's see, because one of these is bigger than the other. Okay, so we're going to cut this in half. <laughs> and I know that it looks weird. And it could be something that you want to follow along with. Or you can just take what I'm giving you as an idea and run with it. Which is probably better. Because I will confuse the heck out of you if you do what I do. Okay, so there we go. And we're going to roll that up like that. And we're going to roll that on itself. That should be one and a half. Okay. And then we're going to take this. And I'm going to kind of roll it. Let's make it a little bit thicker. I'm going to roll that side around the black like that. So that gives us a cool little, just a cool little design. So now I could either take that purple and do the same on this side, which we probably will. So we're going to touch this side completely. Okay, and we're going to do the same here. We're going to let it touch. Then we're going to kind of roll it in just like the other one. Kind of makes it look like a little flower, doesn't it? Okay, so that's that one. So we have a blue here. I don't know if I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. I've been watching a court case all morning. I don't know if you guys watch YouTube besides just regular beating videos and stuff like that. But um, sometimes I watch like Law and Order and some of the court cases. Um, it's just something I've always been interested in. And um, there's a court case going on right now with the walk. Kusha, I don't know how to pronounce it, Wisconsin case. It was the guy that ran through the parade in his car um, and killed six and I think injured like 72 or 68 people or something. And he decided he was going to represent himself. And <laughs> he's been banished basically out of the courtroom all day today. But the most disrespectful, most disrespectful person I have ever seen in a courtroom and this judge has the patience of a saint. And I have a feeling she is doing that because she's doing whatever she can in order for him not to declare a mistrial. Um, so she's been extremely fair. But, I mean, he screamed. He's had staring contests with her. And it's just, it's a circus. And I don't know why, but it drew me in. And so I have been watching that off and on today. As I make my Skinner blends, I turn it on and... Um, it looks like the, the case is nearing to an end because he forfeited all his rights in order to call any witnesses, um, which is sad because it doesn't sound like his mother even came to court to testify in his behalf. So it's just a sad case all around, um, but just absolutely disrespectful. <laughs> I just don't understand people at all, especially when you're facing life imprisonment. Why would you even do that? But there's nothing I can do about it, right? It's his choice. I don't know him. I don't want to know anyone like that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's interesting. So if you ever want to watch a very interesting court case, you might want to put that one on because it's kind of cool. Well, not cool, but it's very interesting. 
Okay, so I took that blue and I just ended up um, just making one side longer like that. I'm not really worried about that not showing up. And then just put a couple greens. Okay, and I'm just setting that there. So far, the green isn't as bad as I thought it would be, so we're going to use it. Um, I don't know if I want to introduce any yellow. Ugh. It's so hard to figure out what to do sometimes. I think I am going to do one more of those, but I think I'm going to do it. Um, so I'm going to do the same with this purple that went around here. I'm going to do the same with that. And then this one that I used for this, I'm going to do the same as that. We're just going to switch colors out. So on this one, we're just going to, again, do the same thing as the other one. Make it into a triangle. We're going to three inches with this one. And we're just going to mirror that. And whatever cane you make, you don't have to make it symmetrical. Because once it gets put together, it's going to end up being symmetrical. But I can't seem to work in odds very easy. So... That's why I always try and do even amounts of each cutter or color cutter got cutter on the brain here Okay, so this one we need to bring And we're using up all our green all at once so that yellow is gonna have to be the filler to kind of balance that out or I throw this leaf in as well. I really like that leaf I love the shading in it. And I have a feeling I'm a little off on this. So. Okay, so we're going to try that. That's got to be pushed in a little bit. Should be one and a half. Just a little bigger than that. Okay. So now we're taking the other side. I'm going to wrap that around a little bit more. So let's get this side up really high. I gotta take Makita to the vet today. I don't know how I'm gonna get her in the car on my own. She weighs about 95 pounds and I have a SUV. So I'm hoping my husband gets off early. Uh-oh. This needed to be... No, it didn't. I can do it this way. Hopefully he'll get off a little early and he can take her with me. Or at least get her in the car. Alright, so we got those two. This I'm just going to kind of squish a little longer. So it's the same size. Okay, and then for this one, we're going to do the same that we did with the purple. And we're going to just squish the outsides. Make them really thin. And this is going to be three inches as well. So we're just going to kind of stretch on the outside. And then stretch down. Okay, we're about two and a quarter. This could be a little thinner. Oh, 
Okay, so there's the other black. So again, we're going to wrap this around. Just going to make a little curly Q right here. Okay, I might have to pull this a little a little wider so that it makes it halfway through. Okay. Yes, I know it doesn't look right um, from your angle. It's just because of the top. Okay, and this one we're going to make a curly Q as well. I butchered that. It still ended up being a square or a circle when I tried to avoid it. So I'm going to do this with this. I'm going to leave that one horizontal. And I'm going to make that one vertical. I could do that. Okay, I could have this facing one side as the top. This one can be as the bottom. And this one can be the leaf. Huh. Okay. Now it's just figuring out where you want to put everything. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's grab some yellow here. I want to put something in the middle of the yellow. But I do not want to put, I don't want to put the black right here. All right, so let's, let's squish this up into a triangle. it big and wide okay and that's gonna fit that one in there I have this I don't know if that would kind of throw off everything or not because it's not anywhere in that color palette See if I have anything else that I can throw into it. I've been really good in using all my stuff, so I don't have anything else. So I have two blues. Hmm. I can do a couple whites, a couple purples. 
So we're going to make this into a triangle, but we're going to use the white on the inside. And that way it'll separate these two purples from touching each other. So that's going to go into there. And the same with this one. Not sure if I need any more purple and blue, but I definitely may need some yellow. Okay, we're going to make that a little bit more thinner, taller. Okay, so there you go. So the only asymmetrical piece I have is that little green leaf. Um, I don't think I need any more purple. I have two more of these. So I'm going to set that aside right there. And then I'm going to take this yellow and I'm just going to flatten it. Sorry about the dogs. Obviously you know by now that they will always make an appearance in at least one of my videos. They provide my audio. The mailman has already been here, so I don't know what they're barking at. They're still trying to put fiber optics on the street. So, we've got a lot of workers all the way down the neighborhood. We had an interesting accident yesterday. The street is only, you know, it's a residential street. So, it's only 25 miles an hour. But somehow somebody came through yesterday and barreled through at a pretty high rate of speed and hit another car and that car hit a parked car. So it was an interesting day yesterday. They sent so many police officers, which I don't understand why, but there were a lot of police officers just for an accident. Nobody was injured, so that's a good thing. But yeah, they were there for at least a couple of hours investigating what happened. Okay, guys, so I feel like there's got to be something right here that's got to go there. I don't know why I'm thinking of... I don't want to pull that out right there. So what should I do to fill up that little hole right there? I don't want to use any more green or yellow or purple. How much will I throw this off by throwing in some other color? Oh, too bad that's a dark. That's a gold and an orange. I could have used that. I do have, oh, I got this little orange thing right here. Heck, I'm going to use it because it's old and it's really hard here. So. We're going to kind of just stretch it out, bring it in, stretch it out, bring it in, kind of condition it a little bit. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. I've got a big pile to my right of me. If you wonder what I'm doing. So I'm trying to pull out. I've been really, really good at not um, having a whole lot of cane left over. Okay, what the heck. Now if I can... This is the same as that. If I can get to this to a one and a half inch, I'll just use the same one. Just don't want to make it really busy.
Then I have some of this. Can't see using that. And I have a different kind of bullseye. But I don't think I need that. Alright guys, so this is it. This is what we're going with. So now the fun part begins where you basically just get this into a nice little triangle. And then you reduce it. Okay, so I'm not going to cut the sides off yet, but anyways, that's what it looks like up close. So I'm going to go reduce this just to about three inches, and then we'll come back and slice and decide whether we're going to reduce it one more time and shape it again, or if we're going to reduce it one more time and um, back end both of them together and then make a, a kaleidoscope square or whatever you want to call it. So I will be right back. Okay, so we have it kind of reduced. So I want to cut this at three inches. And just in case anybody doesn't know, the reason I go past three inches is so I can cut the uglies off the side. So I don't really worry about them as much as other people. I don't expect them to be perfect because I don't want to be cutting into it and cutting into it over and over and over again. So as you can see, they're still icky. So I'll cut just a little more off. Boy, I wish I could make my straight lines. I'm really horrible at this. But because I'm already going to cut the other ends anyways, I don't make sure that they're perfect. Because again, I'm going to cut them one more time. So we're cutting this at one and a half inches for each piece. And I think it's about right there. Okay, so this is where you look. So that's the bottom. I couldn't figure out why I only had two. So you can either leave it like this and you can put it butt in like that and start creating this in order to be um, part of your square as is like that. Or you have the option to, those are the bottom, that's the bottom. Yeah, I'm getting confused here. Like that. And you can cut it or, and reduce it one more time and then do it. The way this looks, I think I'm going to do that. I don't know if I want those in the center. I think I like this in the center better. So this is where you kind of line it up. And this is why people, they make sure that both sides are even so that they can put this together. But usually it works pretty well for me, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so one more time, we're going to push this down, and now we're going to squish it together. We're going to do this to another three inches, and then we'll do our final reducing. So I'll be right back when I get this to three inches. Okay, so that didn't take very long. So now what we're going to do So we're going to cut off our ends one more time. It's going to be a bright cane. As always, I don't always agree with my color choices. Um, but it's going to be bright. And spring is coming up. So that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm glad I kind of went down one more. I think it's more manageable this way. Okay, and now we're putting these butt end against each other. And what I mean by that is I use the, the flat piece on the bottom, but this is also perfectly um, set to where you can use any of them. So, no, see, these are still a little flatter, I think, than any of the other ones. You know, you can go in there and still make this into a square. I kind of like that better. I don't think there's any difference by doing it this way. Or, oh wait, might have pressed a little too hard on that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. 
So I am going to take these two and I'm going to line them up. Okay, so those are all lined up perfectly. Okay, and now we're going to turn this into a square. And by doing that, when I first start, I just take it about 90 degrees. And I kind of help it along. Okay. And on this, if the top end is higher, I push that back. The top end is, or the front end is lower, I push forward. And I just go back and forth until it starts getting square shaped. Just like that. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is we want four identical pieces. And an order just came through. But the mailman's already been here, so I don't have to run out and start that. So again, we're going to get this to four equal, um, four equal sizes, and I think we're going to go six inches. That'll give me one and a half for each piece, and we will come back after that's done. Okay, so here we are at four equal pieces. So we are cutting off the ends just to make sure they all look good. Okay, we're at six inches here. So we're doing one and a half. Actually, we're just gonna do, we'll do three. And then we'll cut those in half. Which would be about right there. Okay. All right, so now the fun part is lining these all up to put them together and to figure out which way I like them to line up. Okay, so that is going to go like that. I'm doing this kind of far away from the camera because I can't see. So we're just kind of looking at them, first of all. So it kind of reminds me of a little peacock. Or, so one of these sides, it wasn't exactly even. I had one side that was three quarters and the other one fell a little bit short. So when that happens, I just got to make sure they're both even. And then that one would be like that, which I don't like at all. All right, so we're going to go and do this center piece. So on this side, I have yellow on the right and yellow in the center. Okay, so I think that's the wrong one. I think that one needs to come up. That one needs to come up this way. Okay, and then this one. We want that and that to come across. Okay, this one's a little smaller. So 
see to me that looks more like that side there we go that's off a little bit so now those match up and then these two little ones match up Okay, this is an interesting cane, definitely. So now we're just going to make sure that both sides are even. Everything is lined up. Like this one, that needs to come down a little bit. reason this is off is because I got a little bit of white right there. There we go. Okay, so basically those are lining up, those are lining up, those, 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 and those, they all line up. All right, so we're going to do probably about three inches and we'll come back and show you the final reveal. Okay, so we are back one more time. Let's cut this baby open and see what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, pretty much. So we'll go to about 250. Ooh. So the brightness kind of toned down. So I kind of like that. Um, it's not as bright as it was before. This is going to make a really nice background. For what, I don't know. That's my biggest problem, is figuring out what to make with them. But I have to admit, I do like the way the colors are a little more subtle than what they were when we started this. So that is it for today. And um, I guess we'll talk to you hopefully Wednesday or Thursday. I do want to make... Um, uh, some kind of a leaf cane because um, I do like making pods and I do like making um, feather and leaf jewelry. It seems to sell very well for me. So I will probably make a leaf the next time I see you and you guys have a wonderful Monday and I will talk to you later on. Um, if you guys are prayers, pray for Makita um, that she comes out of the vet without any serious problems. She had a um, I don't know if it's an anal gland. I, I don't I've never had a dog have problems with anal glands until we got our Jack Russell from a rescue. Um, but she's had some blood in her stool um, just once. And it wasn't blood blood. It wasn't dark stool. So it's not coming from her intestine. Um, but it might be an infected anal gland or something. So we're just going to check that out. So as long as that's what it is and not some kind of cancer, we are all good. So I will talk to you later and I'll fill you in on her when I see you again this week. So have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.